Hi, I'm Dave from Boinaband.com, and on this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a simple electro pop portamento lead synth patch in Reason. This will be a quick tutorial since it's a pretty basic patch. We'll be using Thor and an M class equalizer just to bring out that high end. Okay, let's begin. So, this is the beat we've got. And we'll be making this happy little lead synth here. So, let's get to work. I'll open it up here, port a lead. I'll initialize this combinator, right click, initialize patch. Um, but if you make your own, remember to name it, just so you can see what it is in the mixer up here. Okay, inside the combinator, right click and create Thor Polysonic Synthesizer. Right click and initialize Thor, and click show programmer to open it up. Before we start listening to the synth, I'll just explain a bit about what we need to do. We need to make two analog oscillators. One we've already got, and the other one we'll make there. And make one a square wave and one a sine wave. Now if we click two to run the second oscillator through, and play it so we can see what we've got. You can see the tone is almost there already. Now, before we carry on though, I want to change the tone a little bit on the square wave, which I should technically call a pulse wave because of what we're about to do. Now if I solo out just the pulse wave for now and change this PW knob here this changes the width of the pulse which changes the tone of the square wave so in the middle is a perfect square wave 64 is the value but if we change it to about 100-ish that just makes it a sharper tone for this synth this knob increases or decreases the width of the pulse wave. This offsetting changes the tone. This technique is called pulse width modulation. Incidentally, it's really cool if you link it to the LFO. You can get some nice futuristic sounds out of it. Next, if we click 2 to send it through again, on the filter here, we want to take it up to about 3 kHz, so we've got a bit of the low end, a bit of the high end rather, but we're cutting most of it off. Take the end value right down though, so the filter envelope has no effect on the filter itself. Next, we're going to take the sustain up to full, so the patch doesn't lose volume over time. Follow this by hitting the chorus on, just to widen it up so it's more filling. Okay, now we're going to give it the characteristic that defines its name, the portamento. Up at the top here, turn the portamento to on, and turn the portamento down to about 30-ish. This makes the notes slide between each other. The higher the value, the longer it takes to slide from one note to the next. So you can turn this up pretty high and make some really lazy sounding funny synths. But for this effect, we're going to keep it quite low, around 28, 30, something like that. And this just adds a subtle slide to the start of the notes to make it happier and bouncier sounding. Okay, so that's the main part of this synth. Next, we're going to right click, create an M-Class Equalizer. And with this, we're going to turn Param 1 on, take it up to about 2.5 kilohertz around that area, and turn the gain right up to about maybe 10 decibels, and then widen the bandwidth to about 2.5-ish. And if you have a listen before, like if I turn off Param 1, and then turn it on, you can hear that high end is brought out nicely. And there you have it, if I put it back in the song. Sweet! A fun little electro-pop portamento synth that sounds happier than a paedophile that just found out the legal age of consent in Yemen. Be sure to check out the other tutorials on how to make this electro-pop song. See you next time! If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video, or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!